So I can't say I suffered a long time other than there was times when I'd get down on my knees, I could hardly get up. Great Lakes Home Health and Hospice, watching over you. Welcome to Healthcare in Your Home, featuring Dr. Kenyon, Dr. Medler, and Dr. Tompkins. And brought to you by Great Lakes Home Health and Hospice, where superior quality care is our passion. Great Lakes Home Health and Hospice, watching over you. How will joint replacement surgery improve the quality of your life? I would recommend a patient have a total knee replacement when the pain from their knee interferes with the quality of their life. When they can't walk in a grocery store because of pain, they have to hang onto a cart, when it hurts to go to the church, okay, or to go visit friends or go for a walk, and medicine and nothing else is helping, okay, then that's the time. Um, the other indication would be if you started to wear the bone away. Um, because then if you wait too long, you won't have good enough bone stock to replace the hip. It's like a carpenter needs something good to work with to build a house. If he doesn't have good materials, you can't build as good a house. You know, it's, it's interesting. Um, in as many years as we've been doing this, which is uh, 10 years plus, um, I don't think I've ever heard anyone say, I really wish I would have waited another year to have my knee replaced. Um, uh, Overwhelmingly, the comments that we hear are, um, you know, I can, can do the things that I used to do again. Um, I can go shopping with my daughter. I can uh, go to dinner with my friends. Um, I can go to church on Sunday again. I can do a lot of things that really I wasn't able to do when I was, was uh, fighting the concept of, of, a, of a knee replacement or hip replacement. Um, overwhelmingly, people say, I wish I would have done this earlier. I wish I would have done this a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. Um, and we've also heard interesting comments. Uh, I wish that I would have done this so I wouldn't have given up on some of those things that I really enjoyed uh, that I didn't do while I was in pain. Well, after the surgery, I feel pretty good. I'm still hobbling around a little bit, but uh, it ain't gonna be long. I'll be out there doing what I wanna do. What is a home safety evaluation? A nurse or a physical therapist comes into a home before a patient's going to have total knee replacement or total hip replacement. They basically just check out the house to make sure that the patient's going to be safe after they come home from their surgery and find out exactly what the patient's going to need when they do come home so that everything's all set for them when they do come home so it's an easier transition. It's performed at the patient's home um, so we can see exactly what environment the patient's going to be in when they come home from surgery any safety factors that they're going to have to overcome to get into the home, um, whether or not their bedroom's on the first floor, if they're going to have to go up the stairs to sleep, if they're going to have to find other arrangements as far as the bathroom, things like that so that the patient's safe when they come home. When should a patient expect to see a nurse from the rehabilitation team? The rehabilitation team after surgery is usually contacted while the patient's in the hospital. We've been very fortunate and oftentimes the visiting nurses will see the patients before they go into the hospital for the surgery. That way they have a relationship established before they go in. With that in mind, the, uh, when the patient's discharged, oftentimes the first encounter after surgery occurs within the next day. One of the things that's really important about a person understanding the whole process of a hip or a knee replacement, the whole process of their surgery, is for them to understand everything that's going to take place prior to the surgery, the day of the surgery, um, after they come out of surgery, while they're in the hospital, and then when they come home. I think one of the greatest things that we have found is that um, that um, knowledge, the person knowing what's going to happen, has significantly reduced anxiety, um, helps the patient, helps their family, helps the physician. You like to have the patients go to their own home because it's a familiar surrounding. Um, they're comfortable there, familiar faces, it's the same bed they sleep in, the same favorite chair, the food that they normally eat, okay, and uh, they do better. Um, in certain cases, though, when they're, they're significantly limited, they can't go to their own home, okay, but most of the time you like them to go to their own home. Um, uh, also, uh, infection-wise, um, the same bacteria that's lived in their home with them for years is there and they've lived there 
together, getting along, okay, versus going to someplace else where they have a lot of people and there are other bacteria there. So it's all around safer, they feel better, they do well, okay, and um, uh, um, um, they get back to doing things. But a lot, again, depends upon the age of the patient and their medical status. The patient really has the final say in terms of when they go home and when they feel comfortable to go home. The goals for rehabilitation of hip and knee replacement are improve function, decrease pain, improve mobility. It is much easier to get rehabilitated from a hip replacement. A hip replacement is a ball and socket joint, which doesn't require the same amount of intensive physical therapy for mobilization. And one of the major exercises in the rehabilitation of a hip replacement is just to get the patient up, get them moving, and get them walking. There are some strengthening exercises, but the key to that is just moving and walking. A knee replacement, on the other hand, is much more labor intensive. The knee has a tendency to stiffen up after surgery, uh, is painful uh, for the first couple of weeks, and the patients have to be committed to really work on that mobilization. So the goal is to get the knee bending so that they can function, usually at least uh, 90 degrees of bend. We usually hope for about 110 degrees of bend, which makes it easier to go up and down stairs, sit in the back of a car. Uh, as far as strength, that usually comes with time and doesn't happen right away. And obviously pain relief is, is usually within about two weeks after the post-operative uh, procedure. Uh, but with hip and knee replacement, usually the pain that they had prior to surgery is gone immediately. Their nurses and their therapists are outstanding as far as I'm concerned. I, I really, I've had excellent care from everybody that's I've dealt with Great Lakes. I think they were real crucial or very important in my recovery. So I really uh, feel like it was very important that they were in come into my home. And Great Lakes Home Health and Hospice, watching over you.